Coming up on Network Africa, four Cameroonian soldiers arrested over a disturbing execution video. DR Congo's Joseph Kabila says the country's election is on track. And the U.S. government to allow some 500 Somalis remain in the United States for another 18 months under protected status. Welcome to the program. I'm Millicent Mwaka. Let's begin in Cameroon, where local media is reporting that four soldiers have been arrested for their involvement in a disturbing video which has caused outrage on social media. Details of the arrests are still unclear, but a spokesperson for the government denies they took place. Communications Minister Issa Bakary says the government cannot confirm yet the origins of the video. In the clip, men wearing military uniforms shoot two women, including one with a baby on her back and a little girl. In the meantime, Amnesty International says it had credible evidence that the men in the video were indeed Cameroonian soldiers based on an analysis of their weapons, speech and uniforms. Both the UK and the US have expressed concern over the video, calling for those involved to be held accountable for their actions. Well, still to get more perspective on the story is a con security consultant who is in the studio, Mr. Shea Aditayo. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Pleasure is mine. What do you make of this disturbing video? Um, men being accused of being Cameroonian soldiers, blindfolding and shooting two un unarmed women and children? Well, <clears throat> it's a disturbing video and I think it is um, right for everyone to condemn this. And I'm actually expecting more reactions from international communities and bodies over this because this should not be allowed to continue. We must send strong message uh, not only to the Cameroonian soldiers but all soldiers all over the world that um, such uh, extrajudicial killing is unacceptable. It it's, um, it's negates everything that humanity stands for. Now, the Cameroonian army had denied being involved um, in the video, but now we also understand that four Cameroonian soldiers have been arrested for their role. Someone says, I mean, isn't this a contradiction? And then how can indeed people, the victims, perhaps get closure, justice? Well, I think it, it has to do with um, one, the date of the incident. I think some uh, suggest that probably the incident must have taken place like four uh, three, four, yeah. five years ago. So uh, ordinarily, um, government may not immediately want to hone up to such uh, actions, I mean, such uh, incident without first um, investigating it. But I expect more from the Cameroonian government uh, on this matter uh, because it will say, as, uh, say a lot about um, what they stand for, especially considering the other videos already uh, circul I mean, you know, trending on killings, uh, extrajudicial killings uh, going on right now in the northwest and the southwest of the country, especially the conflict with the uh, ambassad uh, Ambassonian uh, people. There are other videos showing uh, military shooting into communities, um, not minding whether they are women or children in those buildings. So it, it, it says a lot about um, the level of um, uh, decadence uh, going on uh, in Cameroon and um, the uh, culpability and complicity of the Cameroonian government in what is happening. The victims were accused of being connected to the militant group Boko Haram. This also brings uh, to mind Amnesty International's several accusations with regard to the Nigerian military uh, saying that they've also carried out extrajudicial killing. One begins to wonder how difficult it is for, for government to investigate and punish the offenders and perhaps looking at how Africa is fighting this warfare. Okay, one thing we must appreciate here is that um, if that particular killing weren't um, recorded, we wouldn't have known. The killings will have gone on 
un, um, unknown and uh, no justice can uh, be demanded for. Um, but, you know, no matter how long um, uh, a, a bad action uh, took place, we must always condemn it anytime it comes to light. So I, I, I'm going to, you know, not that I'm trying to um, make case for government, but I know that it will be naturally be difficult for government to know what is actually happening, especially in you know small small communities where you have you know few soldiers that are actually running patrols and the things they do. Except we have recordings like this to show, or people that come out to testify. So I I will say that people victims should be bold enough to come out to testify and um, also you know complain about the actions of the military this will help the government to know a kind of a feedback what the soldiers are doing when nobody is watching them and it will help to be able to pass the message across the soldiers and say you know what even though these people are enemy but the moment we arrest them and they come back with reports that um, you actually killed people extrajudicially we will hold you accountable for your action irrespective of where the complaint is coming from complaints by Boko Haram uh, suspects or uh, criminals that have been arrested should also be taken seriously. Remember that we got to this level because of extrajudicial killing in case of Mohamed Yusuf. So um, that is to show us that the extent in which situations like this can degenerate into. And we must condemn it, we must put a stop to it, and government will do everything. So I will not blame government, but when such comes to light, they must come out boldly to condemn it. Right now, um, the Cameroonian government are not doing uh, enough. They're supposed to come out and condemn the video. Whether they have evidence yet that they are Cameroonian soldiers or not, they should condemn the video. And they should make, um, you know, in strong terms, and also pass the message across to all their soldiers that this, anytime we get a report like this, we are going to take it seriously, and those involved will be dealt with.